How to A-B test Facebook ads step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can run A-B testing on Facebook ads. So let's get into it. Or the first step is obviously going to be heading on over to your ad manager on Meta. Now, once you are on your ad manager, go into campaigns on the left. Here is where you're going to find any or all of your campaigns. Now, what is A-B testing and how can you do that on Facebook? Well, A-B testing refers to when there are two variations of the same ad. The two variations are a very slight minuscule change within the ad creative or within the way that you have captioned the post or within the way that you have used an emoticon. And those A-B tests determine which type of ad creative or which type of ad description performs better for your particular niche. Now, the purpose of A-B testing is to know whether or not you should opt for a certain style and you should start focusing on a certain style. So we're going to be doing A-B testing on Facebook and I'm going to show you guys step by step exactly how to do it. First off, go into campaigns on the left and then just click on create. Once you do that, you will see there are different types of campaigns that you can create. Let's say that for my particular campaign, I just want awareness. Then I'll click on continue. Now, once you click on continue from here, you're going to add your campaign name. For our campaign name, this is going to be ruffled brand awareness like this. Now below that you have a special ad category. So if your particular ads are related to something like banking, employment, social issues, elections, you're supposed to add those, but mine aren't. So we're going to pr proceed. Then you have your campaign details, which is auction or reservation and the objective. And you can click on more and you can add a campaign spending limit. And I will add a campaign spending limit of $1. One dollar is too less, so it must be a hundred for my currency. So I'll just leave that for now. So after that, you will see a section called A B test. Now in A B test, you're just going to click on this button over here, and it will tell you after you publish this campaign, we will take you to your A B test setup. Click on next on the bottom, and once you click on next, you will have the second set of questions basically where you have things such as the ad set name our first ad set is going to be ad set one and the performance goal is to maximize the reach or the number of impressions so i want to maximize the number of impressions that i have or let's say i want to maximize the reach that i have below that we have our facebook page that we are using this for and then we have our cost per result goal. And Meta will aim to spend your entire budget and get most thousand impressions using the highest volume of bid strategy. Below that, you have your daily budget that you can insert over here. And below that, you have a start date and you can add an end date as well. Below that, you also have things such as your advantage audience. You also have placements and more. So this is your first ad set. And we're going to set the finishing day for 24 hours. Now, after that, we are going to proceed with next and then you will see your ad preview. So this is what our ad looks like on the right, which is obviously very boring. So what you're going to do is we are going to scroll down and we are going to create an ad. This is going to be a single image or video. And after that, we are going to add our image. You know, if you scroll down, you will have your ad creative. We're going to remove all this and this is going to say luxury at its finest. Below that, we have AI generated text that we can pick out from as well. So I'll just take this one. And then below that, we also have event details, languages and tracking. Uh, once you click on publish at the end, we're just going to go ahead and publish this. I'll show you guys what it looks like once it has been published. So from here, once you have published your campaign, you can click on create a B test. And in this, you can choose what to test. Then you also have selecting your test settings and then you have your results. So click on get started and you will see two variations. Either you can pick another existing ad or you can make a copy of this ad. So I want to make a copy of this ad and then you have three different types of variables that you can test. You can either check out the creative, which means the images or the videos. Then you have the audience. So if you target a different audience, that might perform better. 
Then you have the placement. Placement means whether it's placed on the top, bottom, or the sides when you get ads. Or you can also change multiple variables at once. Now, for beginners, I always recommend to go with one particular A-B test at a time. Don't try to do custom A-B testing with multiple variables because you're not going to be able to accurately identify what exactly is making this B variation or the A variation better than the other out of the two variables or the three variables that you selected. So let's say I want to do this based upon audience. Now, then you have the option to uh, save the bidding audience, which means that it will save after it A-B tests two different audiences. It will actually save the one that performs better for your content. Now, after that, you also can select the ad, obviously, that you want to copy. And if you do this for creative, if I go into creative over here, I can select an ad. Obviously, I haven't added an ad set in this, but if I was to add an ad set, I would be able to add the variation. So if I show you guys this one over here and we have ad set one and we're going to click on edit over here, we have our ad creative. Yeah, so all of this has been created. We can click on publish over here. And once we click on publish, you can add your phone number and then proceed with um, multiple variations of your ad set. Now, in this, make sure that your ad set, whichever ad set that you are using, has at least one image. If you're doing a change in creative, if you're doing a change in the positioning of the ad, then it really doesn't matter how it is positioned is going to be determined based upon the style of content it is. If you're using multiple different variations of placement of the images, so let's say image two was converted into image one, that would be considered a change in the creative, not a change in placement. So keep those little tidbits in mind. Once you do that, you can actually go into ad reporting on the left and you would be able to see the performance of your ad, including the impressions, reach, frequency, and the attribution setting for each individual ad that you are getting. Uh, this includes your A-B split tested ads, and you will get a more valuable input for your campaign as well. Now, you can easily even select your campaigns from here and directly go into A-B testing uh, from your campaign. And you can select two existing ads and you can select those and you can uh, choose existing ad sets. So search for ad two ad sets and then make variation A and variation B. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.